Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we are going to learn about hybrid identity. My name is Sushan Sutish and I am your trainer for this AZ303 certification course. Without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Microsoft identity solutions span on-premises and cloud-based capabilities. These solutions create a common user identity for authentication and authorization to all resources, regardless of location. We call this as hybrid identity. To achieve hybrid identity with Azure AD, we have three methods. The first one is password hash synchronization. So what is password hash synchronization or PHS? Password hash synchronization helps by reducing the number of passwords your users need to maintain to just one. And password hash synchronization is an extension to the directory synchronization feature implemented by Azure AD Connect Sync. You can use this feature to sign into Azure AD services like Microsoft 365. The second feature is pass through authentication. The Azure AD pass through authentication allows your users to sign into both on premises and cloud based applications using the same passwords. This feature provides your users a better experience, one less password to remember, and reduces IT help desk cost because your users are less likely to forget how to sign in. And the third option is federation with Azure AD. You can federate your on-premises environment with Azure AD and use this federation for authentication and authorization. This sign-in method ensures that all users' authentication occur on-premises. This method allows administrators to implement more rigorous levels of access control. Let us look at some of the common scenarios and recommendations. This table shows you some of the common hybrid identity and access management solutions with recommendations as to which hybrid identity solution might be appropriate for you. If you are trying to sync a new user, contact and group account created in an on-premises active directory, you can use password hash or pass-through authentication or ADFS. Similarly, to setting up an Office 365 hybrid scenario, you can use all three methods as well. All three methods support enabling users to sign in and access cloud services using their on-premises password as well. Very important to note that all three methods allow you to enable single sign-on for your corporate credentials. If you would like to ensure that password hashes are not stored in the cloud, your option is limited to PTA and ADFS and multi-factor authentication support all three scenarios. If you want to enable MFA for on-prem, then your option is limited to ADFS. And again, if you want support for smart card, ADFS is the right choice. And some customers do have requirement to display the password expiry notification in their Office 365 portal and Windows 10 desktop. Then you have to use ADFS. That concludes this lesson. In the next episode, we're going to look into Azure AD Connect. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.